All right, this video is going to be on how to uh, run a cable television jack in a house under construction. You'll notice we've marked up where these jack locations are going to go. It's TV. And usually when you're doing this, the electrical is in place already. That's just an electrical box right there. And then you want to mount this structured wire uh, box, which doesn't have a back. Mount that at the same height as your electrical box. Now, this particular client decided that they wanted a, a double gang box. They wanted a big box as opposed to a single gang box. And for this client, the only benefit of a double gang box is that it just gives them more room for their fingers to work the various wires that connect here. But uh, in, under normal circumstances, we would just use a single gang box for this. Now, in this box, we have a, an RG6. You can use RG6 or you can use RG6 Quad Shield. RG6 usually works perfectly fine. An RG6 Quad Shield just has more shielding to help uh, keep noise from inducing onto the line. But we always use just regular RG6. Unless there's some reason to use RG6 Quad Shield, RG6 works just fine. And then this is a pretty good length from which to cut it. It's actually a little bit too long. We'd wind up cutting it back to about right here later. We don't have to do that now. Always keep your wires long and cut them when, when they have to be cut, not when you want to cut them. So the great thing about this particular situation here, we ran a Cat5 as well as the coax because there's a lot of content on the internet that you can stream to your televisions today and we prefer to use the hardwired ethernet as opposed to the wireless and here's why. Depending on the type of router that you get, whether you go out and buy it yourself or whether it's supplied to you by your uh, phone company or whoever's supplying it, that router doesn't send that signal, you know, forever. It, it, the, the farther you get away from the router, the slower the signal. So this is going to give you a consistent fast signal and it doesn't take that much to put it in during construction. So that's why we're doing that in this particular case. And then it just runs upside up in the wall, goes right through the top plate, and those two wires go all the way back to a central cable distribution box. Hey, that's the end of how to uh, wire a house for a TV jack. Please subscribe to the channel. There are more videos on how to wire a house for construction. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.